don't need this anymore. You did this for nothing. Shut up. He's got his arm back. Shut up. I like to sacrifice himself, but we'll talk about this later. Hey guys, I am Chris Kaler. And I'm Amber Fosakoji Kosley. And today, we're back again, guys, for the last but not least episode of the Fumito Alchemist by the Hood. This episode is called The Other Side of the Gate. Of the Gateway. Gateway, sorry. Gateway, there you go. Episode 63. <sighs> it's been such a long journey. It's been such a great one too. Obviously, like last episode, we dressed up for the part. We're not gonna take that off for the last one either. Like this, this is too intense. Last episode, um, I mean, father was winning once again. He was way too powerful. Uh, he made like that huge blast. Owenheim protected his son and Izumi and Al protected me. <laughs> Both of them were kind of out of commission for a while, but like the brig soldiers showed up. Roy showed up, everyone fought, like, everyone was giving it his all. Greed kind of got one over father for a sec, and they managed to land some hits. Eventually, he, he kind of blew up, and, and Ed got stuck, <laughs> and he almost died. Like, he almost got... <sniffs> he sucked his energy and stuff. But and then Al sacrificed himself! To get his brother back, his right arm. Yeah, because his, his metal arm was destroyed, and so, like, basically, he's, he's in his body right now, but he's in, in front of the gate, like, he's with truth. Ed got his, both his arms back, but if he wants his brother, he's gonna have to do the human transmutation again and give something up. We think that he, Owenheim might do that sacrifice because it's his son. He won't let one of his sons sacrifice himself for the other son, even though we know that Ed would totally do it. Ed got so freaking mad and it was so epic. Everyone was like screaming, you can't, you can't, go, go! And, and yes, yeah, sorry, I keep like... <laughs> Everyone was screaming at him and encouraging him, and Greed was like, "Yeah, this is exactly what I want. What which what you want, like friends." Like and us, I, yeah. yeah, that's the thing. <sighs> Basically, Ed is winning now, so let's jump into this. <laughs> let's go and see the end of the fight. <sighs> let's go. <laughs> He's not done yet, he's not dead, thankfully. Yeah. Keep everything. Holy shit. <laughs> well, Ling is back. There's that. And he can poison him from inside. This is his 
zu fahren. He got his friends. See how they care? Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Well, this one I'm sad to see go. I'm really sad. Brothers? Soul brothers. My friends, basically. God is like, what the fuck am I in now? Peace out. Oh. Although I understand, I'm not sad to see him go. As sad as it is, I won't cry. No. <laughs> Did we win? Oh my god! 
そうだな錬金術の使えないただの人間になり下がるのかなり下がるも何も最初からただの人間だ君らにされた女の子一人助けられないちっぽけな人間だ、oh、<笑>いいんだな本当にそれがなくてもエドはめろエドはどこエドエドはどエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエドエド Himself for Al, so we were like, shit, it's gonna be so sad. I think it's better because uh, it means that basically Ed will keep his promise. Al and Al, I mean, Al would be def devastated if he had come back because his dad had sacrificed himself. He would have loved to be like the guy who gave his life for his son, but I, somehow I feel like this is better. Like, he gets to die with his, I mean, in front of his wife's. Uh, Trisha? Tomb, tomb? No, I was. I'm waiting for the tombstone. Word. Tombstone, yeah, basically. Yeah. Grave, grave, grave. Thank you. And um, and the sons just they kept their promise, and 
and Ed got to call him dad. And he what? did insult him too, but he called him dad. And I mean, <laughs> that, that's the that's the part that counts. That's the answer. That's the part that counts. And he was so happy. Like he's saying basically that uh, he's been looking for a way to die eventually. Basically, all the all these this time and. In the end, he kind of wanted more time, maybe with his sons, more time with this life, because he's he's grown to appreciate it. He was, I mean, before when he was with with his family, even a, a little before that, he did not enjoy life, and he was not like he was seeing a flower just bloom, and it did not create anything in him. He was not faced by any of that. It's like he was just exist existing he was not living because there was no end in sight but then he got a purpose and then once he got he his sons and Trisha, Trisha. once he got his family yeah he got a purpose to fight for them so that he could have a future because he knew what was gonna happen on the yeah. day I feel like he felt that he was connected to uh, the dwarf in the flask and he felt maybe responsible because he was born from his blood. So it's almost like all the destruction that happened, he felt he was so responsible that he needed to put an end to it. So to have at the end uh, the major come and be like, thank you for giving us your sons. Because if it wasn't for your sons, there nothing would be as it is today. Like they, they saved the world. And I'm like, if he can be proud of one thing, he's going to be proud of his sons. And... and they're both okay now. Although I think Ed still has like a, a metal leg. He still does. That he's got both his arms. He he's got his he brother. Can't he can't use anymore. alchemy anymore. And I'm like, that sacrifice is so like I was crying tears of joy because I'm like, the kid is so intelligent for thinking of that, and he doesn't care. He learned alchemy. Well, when he was a kid, it, he was so curious. Like he's just like his dad, but. Most of the reason why he learned all of that in the end was because he wanted to find a way to bring back his brother. His mom. No, no, well, after, after yeah, he trained true. himself to bring <laughs> back his brother. And yes, before that, his mom. But now that we know he can bring back his mom, and he's, he, he understood that giving it all up was what he needed to do to save Al, and he's okay with it. And I'm like, he, he can still be pretty badass. I mean, come on. And come on, we got Weary, we got Rizzo, we got Olivia. Like, yeah, yeah. The, we got the Brick Soldier. Some of the most badass soldiers there is in this show are not alchemists. So I'm like, he can still do some pretty great things. And Al can, can be like the other part of the full little alchemist. Like, <laughs> Ed can, can be the full metal and Al will be the alchemist. So together they're going to be the full metal alchemist. <laughs> True. <laughs> Although I'm, I'm pretty sure he's quitting the army at this point. Like, I, I don't think he's going to keep on fighting there. Yeah. With, and Roy is, is starting his thing. Like, he's taking charge. He's and... still blind. <sighs> we won't talk much longer than that because we just want to see the finale. And then after that, we'll talk at length and about the show. And then we're going to wash ourselves up. <laughs> and oh, yeah, we'll take a shower for sure. But, um... What, what, a, what an end <laughs> so all, all that's left is the epilogue now so let's go thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us sorry about the tears it got pretty emotional <sighs> all Just right that we we got ourselves so much invest in a show yeah, invested, when, we, yeah. when we are watching it so we love the characters we were into the stories so, and this show is hard not to get into it's really easy to become a fan so Thank you for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the finale right away, it's already on Patreon. The link is in the description. So if you want to cry with us, guys, you can just go down there, click and subscribe to watch it now, or you can wait for it tomorrow. Tomorrow. See you there. See you there, guys. Bye.